Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you yes um i am available for private readings uh if you would like to get a reading with me my email address and the description of the readings that i offer currently are found in the description box below um Please go ahead and email me and, you know, we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation. Yeah. Uh, the even, I'm sorry. The uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can you know get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from eleven to five. I will not be there uh, Monday, May seventh because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the reading. All right, Cancer. So let's get into your reading for this First half of May, 1st through the 15th, yeah? All right, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for May 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. You guys had a pretty... A rough month, I want to say, in April. And it's no surprise. Um, that is no surprise because we were in Aries season. And Aries season was really rough for a lot of people. Okay. But let's just get into this here for you, Cancer. <laughs> I have my window open. So if you hear my door opening and closing, that's why. It's so nice out right now. I'm, I'm loving it. All right, Cancer, one more shuffle for you, and then let's see what's going on. One. Okay. Cancer, Cancer. Here we go. Your overall energy, Cancer, we've got ah, the Page of Cups in reverse. In this deck, it's, it's called the Princess. So, um, messages of love, um, blockage to these messages. 
I feel like you guys, some of you want to have some sort of communication with someone. Um, maybe a soulmate partner, a friendship, whatever. There wants to be some sort of communication or offer of love, either from you, Cancer, or from someone else. But there is a blockage to it. And that could have to do with past history with this person. Yes? We've got that Queen of Wands. Look at you. Bam, bam. Queen of Wands. I love that. With the Two of Swords. And... Zatawa. So, Cancer, either you or someone else around you is having a tower moment. Um, so, uh, here's what I'm mostly picking up. For most of you divine, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> most of you Cancerians that are watching right now, you are of the divine feminine uh, uh, nature. And there are the Two of Swords and the Page of Cups is saying that someone around you, most likely your divine masculine, is indecisive, trying to figure out what to do. They may have, like your divine masculine may have recently gone through a tower moment. And now they're looking at things differently and are wanting to express their love to you, but it's blocked. And because the page of cups is in reverse, and um, they're indecisive about what move to make when it comes to reaching out to you, communicating with you, okay? Um, it, this also could be, for some of you, this also could be the Page of Cups is reversed or blocked because this person, your Divine Masculine, or if we're not even talking about a Twin Flame situation, um, the Soulmate Partner or what whatnot, Although the message that's coming through right now really feels more geared towards those who are on a twin flame journey. But your divine masculine knows that they cannot approach you with just a page sort of offer. They need to come through with at least a, a knight offer, if not the king. Okay? So, and for the most part, that's kind of where they feel like they are right now. The page of cups. And they know that you're not going to accept that. So, they're trying to figure out what to do. Um, but... This tower moment um, has really gotten them into this, this different mindset. So that's a good thing. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I can pick up on here. Some of you Cancerians have gone through a tower moment that has led you to um, adopt this Queen of Wands energy. If we're So we're going to talk about others. Uh, we're going to talk outside the Twin Flame situation. We're just going to talk about general life. Some of you absolutely have gone through a tower moment that has led you to step into your magnetic, um, attractive, um, receptive, charismatic, magical power, okay? It's almost like you have accepted more of yourself into your life. Um, with the Two of Swords, though, you're having a bit of trouble deciphering what to do about some sort of emotional aspect of your life. It's almost like the tower came around and a death was brought about to this page of cups reality. And so now you're stepping up out of it, but are trying to figure out which way to go. And this is not about wands. Or this is not the two of wands. This is the two of swords. Mentally, you're trying to figure out which direction to go in to, to keep yourself moving in this beneficial new um, energy that you find yourself in with the queen of wands. And please understand if you are male and are watching this, um, and even if you identify as heterosexual, the queen and the king are, and the page and whatever, the, the queen and the king are, are energies. It's not about gender, okay? So keep that in mind. We're moving forward. We have the Ten of Wands, releasing burdens um, with the Nine of Pentacles. So the tower moment that you experienced recently, Cancer, has, has propelled you into a state where now you're in the Queen of Wands, energy and you're not letting go, you're not holding on to these burdens anymore okay i i did just want to say you're not letting go of it some of you may be in resistance to finally releasing all of these burdens um but ultimately for the most part cancer you're releasing these burdens and stepping into your own independence you are and you're also releasing these burdens because you understand that you do in fact have your own sense of stability and independence and you don't really need to rely on anyone else these this ten of wands here is 
for a lot of you is symbolizing codependent relationships. And the tower that came around recently, recently, the tower moment that you had has illuminated this for you and has helped you to understand that you are powerful and creative and magnetic and abundant like the Queen of Wands. So no, you don't need to hold on to these, these burdens of codependency. You can absolutely be the independent, strong being that you have always been, okay? You just recently came to, to, to terms with it and understood it. Next, we have the Two of Pentacles. Excellent. So we have the Two of Swords, which is you trying to make a decision, trying to plan your next move. But you also have the, the Two of Pentacles. So you're very balanced here, Cancer, and that's very good to see, especially with, all, with some sort of chaos that may be lingering from this tower moment that you experienced. We also have the High Priestess. Now, Cancer, you're a water sign. And you, just like the other water signs, you have a natural ability for intuition and receptivity. And what I'm here, what I'm picking up here is with the two of pentacles coupled with the high priestess, you are really allowing your intuition to help you bring balance to your physical life. And that's excellent. Moving forward, we have the devil in reverse with ah, the four of pentacles in reverse. So this is exactly what I thought it was when it first came out. You're releasing this. You're releasing your attachment to codependency. You're releasing your attachment to whatever the devil represents to you. So that would be... Um, um, unhealthy habits, uh, relationships that are no longer fulfilling, anything that you felt trapped or tied to, like you had no choice but to stay in, you're not holding on to that anymore. Why? Because you have come to the understanding that the devil cannot control you unless you give him the power. And so with the four of pentacles in reverse and the devil in reverse, you are letting this go. And that is excellent. We have the five, oops, Ooh, wow. We have the five of swords also in reverse. I really like to see that. Lord have mercy, this card is just flying all over the place. You are really releasing any sort of five of wands, five, I'm sorry, five of swords energy, um, self-defeating energy, um, lose-lose situations. If you were in codependent relationships with, with others, in the past that you're recently coming out of, you have come to realize that not only is it a losing situation for you, but it's also a losing situation for them because it is doing a disservice to them. And you have come to that realization, but you've also come to the realization that you can't do anything about that for them. If that's what they want to keep themselves in, that's what they're going to keep themselves in. You have no control over that. Nine of pentacles. You're moving on. You're like, no, I'm not. I, I don't want that in my life. And I know I can't change that for you. So bye, Felicia. You know, that kind of that kind of energy. We also have the wheel in reverse. Okay. So yes, five of swords energy is being released, but there is still a blockage when it comes to this full change in seasons here. And that is speaking to those of you that are, um, that are, uh, I just heard refusing, I wanted to say, refusing to let go of these burdens here with the Ten of Wands. The cycle, the universe is trying to end this cycle for you. So whoever of you that are resonating with this situation, it's like, guys, you, you got to let us help you here. We know you don't want this Five of Swords energy. We know that you've come to the realization, but you're still not letting it go. You're still not letting us do our job to help remove this from your life. Okay, moving forward, we have oof, the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yes, okay, all right, cool. So now the message is, is, is coming. We're talking to those of you that are having trouble or resistance towards letting this go. Yeah, the Ace of Cups is in reverse because this was a situation that was not fulfilling for you. It was a codependent relationship. But with the Eight of Cups in reverse, you're still having trouble walking away from it. You're still allowing your attachment to the situation hold you down. And that's not going to help you. Now, please understand that this is a general reading. So either this is for you, Cancer, or for this, or this is for someone else that is surrounding you, connected, connected with you, or whoever is associated with this relationship, okay? Um, take what resonates with you in whatever way it does resonate with you, with you and leave what doesn't. Don't try to make something fit that doesn't feel like it fits, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I mean, the cup has spilled, but yet you still refuse to walk away from it. It's like, well, maybe I can try again. Maybe if I try a little harder, no, no. <laughs> the tower was here to show you that there is no amount of work that you could do to keep this going. It's always going to be the same thing. 
over and over and over and over and over. And that is why the wheel is in reverse because you're failing to realize, even though you recognize that there is five of swords energy here, there are self-defeating energies here, there are lose-lose situations here. Even though you recognize this element of the situation, you're still failing or choosing to recognize that the more you stay here, the more this, is, this cycle is just going to repeat over and over again. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be with the same person because you can leave this relationship or this environment with whoever we're, we're, we're talking about here, but then still just enter into it with someone else again because you are refusing to walk away from this type of situation, this type of relationship, this type of energy. Okay. Moving forward, we have the five of pentacles in reverse with... The Princess of Wands. So, uh, Cancer, I really feel like a lot of you are having these mixed, really mixed feelings because the Tower has helped you see how things have been unbalanced and has lit a fire under your ass to get you to go towards that which would be much more fulfilling for you. That would be, which would be really a passionate situation for you. And yet, some of you, I feel like there are some of you that are resonating with both ends of this situation that I'm talking about here. Some of you are still refusing to walk away. Why? You've got the fire, you've got the passion, you've got the inspiration. Why are you not walking away? Four of Cups. Refusing the offer that is coming forward for you from the universe. Why? Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, what I'm picking up here is that for some of you, you know, there, there, there's a relationship here that you've been in. And like I said, you know that this relationship is not benefiting you and the universe is trying to hand you something, but what the Knight of Cups in reverse, or in this deck, it says the Prince of Cups, but what the Knight of Cups in reverse is saying, you know that the relationship that you're in, whatever, whether it's romantic or not, you know that the situation that you're in is not working for you. And your ego is telling you this is what you want, but the universe is trying to hand you something else. And you're saying, no, I don't want that. I want this. Boo boo. What this is, is not beneficial for you. It is not fulfilling for you. It's detrimental for you. Why? Five of Swords. But the Five of Swords is reversed because you recognize this already. I wonder if some of you have some Taurus or Earth energy in you. That's Because I'm really picking up some serious stubbornness here. And I am a Taurus sun and a Virgo rising. So let me tell you, I know about being stubborn. But still, this is just poopy, guys. It's just poopy. I don't like it. <laughs> Finally, for you, Cancer, we have the Two of Wands in reverse, refusing to make a decision with the Five of Cups. All right. Okay, Cancer, I get it. You're all up in your emotions. You're all up in your feelings right now. That tower, that tower moment really hurt, didn't it? It really hurt. I get it now. The reason for a lot of you the reason why you're choosing not to make a decision um, and move in a different direction and uh, stay where you are. The reason why you are choosing to stay in the energy that you're in right now is because it's familiar to you. Well, I mean, I've learned enough already here. So if I just stay in this energy, maybe I'll have a better time handling it the next time it comes around. Girlfriend, why do you even want it to come around again? Boo boo, honey child, let me tell you, it's not going to do anything but tear you down. The reason why the tower came around is because the universe has been trying to tell you this structure needs to fall. And I'm not talking about a specific person here. I am talking about an energetic reality, a belief system, a, a mental construct, an energetic construct that has kept you perpetually attracting situations like this. 
Okay, so I understand you're all up in your comfort zone. You don't want to step out because you don't want to make yourself vulnerable again. But honestly, you are going to do more damage to yourself by staying in this situation rather than taking the bull by the horns and riding through it, stepping out of your comfort zone and looking to, and taking the steps to do the things that are going to bring you the fulfillment and the relationship that you want. That's going to be help, healthy for you, beneficial for you. You have got the Queen of Wands energy at your disposal. You are magnetic. You are charismatic. You are attractive. You are bright and vibrant and magical. You can manifest any damn thing you want. But unfortunately, right now, Cancer, you are choosing to manifest that which is familiar to you. That which is only going to bring you pain in the end, and you know this full well by now. I'm sorry I'm being really stern with you guys right now, but the universe is really trying to get your attention. We're trying to help you, honey. We wouldn't have brought you a tower moment for shits and giggles. <laughs> oh, my loves. Please let the universe help you. The universe is trying to hand you an opportunity. No one is saying to you that you have to take it right now. If you want some more time to rest, heal, recuperate, take some time to meditate on the situation, if you feel you need a little more clarity on it before you move forward, that is A-OK. -okay. But please, stop trying to refuse, well, you're not trying, you're doing it. Stop refusing the assistance that the universe is trying to bring to you because the universe absolutely knows your highest good, ultimately. Okay, And the universe loves you unconditionally, loves you for who you truly are, and will never leave you abandoned, will never leave you high and dry. The universe is not in the business of bringing tower situations to people for shits and giggles. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there because that was pretty heavy. I love you all. And I want you to succeed. So this is why I get stern sometimes. Okay? All right. Much love to you guys. I look forward to connecting with you for the second half of May. Mwah! Take care. Bye.